our customers are using CDB in all kinds of uh, deployments. It's out there in the field, it's working. I'm really happy that it's, the assumptions we made at an early stage is really turned out to be true and uh, it meets the requirements of our customers. The database we, we built has uh, really a, a couple of things that, that you don't really find in a standard database. Uh, we, we had very particular requirements on, on memory footprint and, and just performance in general, and we also needed to, uh, to fulfill a, a couple of uh, very hard requirements that we couldn't really find anywhere on, on first of all, on, on how the schema language could be expressed uh, so that it would fit uh, the configuration data. And uh, in the second, we wanted the replication over multiple nodes, and we also wanted a subscription-based API, which really helps uh, uh, our customers to Im implement their instrumentation functions uh, towards their um, uh, their own either hardware or, or other software modules. Another requirement we had uh, from the very start was uh, to be able to uh, upgrade the schema in in runtime. So we want to be able to. Uh, take an existing data model and then transform uh, uh, any existing configuration data to a new schema. So say you would add a new parameter in, uh, in, in your settings, uh, we have to be able to understand the new schema and, uh, and, and transform existing data to, to support that. CDB is an integral part of ConfD's high availability. The CDB is what performs the one-to-many replication and, uh, on a transaction basis so that you have uh, the, the configuration always available on all the, the standby nodes. Uh, at any time you could do a, a, a failover that, that is done by, by having your HA framework control who is the master and who is the slave at any, at any point.